improvisation, according to the organization I've been working with for 20 some odd years, is not just doing music over chord changes. It's not just jazz improvisation. It's music that comes from us. Um, the organization I work with is called Music for People. And the idea is that we're all musical. Um, for example, if you're willing to take this little risk with me at the moment, um, if I sing an ah, can you sing an ah along with me, for example? Um, ah. Oh, that's great. Okay. So maybe I can do just a little bit of conducting. Uh, can we have this half of the room sing an ah? Okay. Ah. Okay, if I go like this, this is going to mean keep going. You know, just as many times as you've got to breathe and, you know, I don't want you to like run out of air and fall off the chairs and stuff. But keep breathing, keep singing that on, and then this side over here will do something else with that, okay? So. Ah. Ah. sing the ah, and this group sings whatever it wants to. I'll just hold the ah for you. to making music all the time. The music is in us, the rhythm's in us. It's a simple thing for us to do if we don't forget. And if we don't go, go along with, you know, elements of the culture that would say music is for professionals, or music is for elite performers, which leads the rest of us to sing Happy Birthday, the national anthem, and I'm not sure what else. Um, but it's not like, you know, you have to star, it's that you have to show up. Uh, and then if we do that, uh, we can be very satisfyingly musical in a whole bunch of different ways. Um, one of the things that I like to do is to uh, make stuff up. Um, simple stuff that gets more, and, and listen for the holes in the music. And I'll show you what that sounds like. Thank you. 
breathe in, breathe out, you know, it's that kind of music. Um, but it doesn't have to be. that I know that, uh, um, well, listen for holes, complex or simple. One way of making music easily available to everybody is to get an instrument where there simply is no way to play it wrong. Now, guitar is pretty complicated. You know, there's a lot of different places to put your fingers, you know, it takes a while to get the body memory for how to do this. I'm gonna bring up another instrument that is uh, much, much more user-friendly. So give me a second here. Just wanna take the time and thank Reverend Michael. Is he here? Well, when he comes back, we'll have him take a bow. <laughs> okay. So, Marty. Oh, you thought you're in the second row. Oh. <laughs> yeah, three would be great. Now, is this a flying saucer? Yes. yes. Is this a Viking shield? Yes. Is this two walks welded together? Yes. yes. Um, what this is, is like a steel drum popped inside out. So instead of going this way, it goes this way. Okay. Now up here we have three people who are fairly experienced at drumming. Is there anybody here who has no experience at drumming? Hey! hey. And sitting in the right place. Oh, come, come join us. Hey. Uh, Yay! I love playing air drums. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the stand for this is our knees. So let's just put our knees together so we can hold this up. Okay? And then we're gonna slap it like it's and get off it like it's hot.
<laughs> making music that is available to folks at all levels of experience and on all from all different musical backgrounds. There's an organization called Music for People. We get together five times a year, for, uh, four weekends and then a week in the summer. Look up musicforpeople.org. It was founded by the Grammy-winning cellist David Darling, uh, an alumni member of the Paul Winter Consort, if you know that music. So great players come and absolute beginners come and they make music together by listening for the holes, by singing, by drumming, by doing the things we did here. Thank you.